Okay, question eight. An equilateral triangle X, Y, Z has sides of length six centimeters. Write down the size of the angle X, Y, Z. Okay, three types, three types of triangles. You have an equilateral, an isosceles, and a scaling. Okay, all sides equal, all angles equal. Isosceles, two sides equal, and obviously the third one is different, and two base angles are equal. Okay, sometimes it, uh, people make mistakes as to which of the two angles are equal. It will be opposite the sides that are equal. So if this side is equal to this, well, then you'll see that's the angle that's across from that side. And that's the angle that's across from that side. So they are the two angles that end up being equal in your isosceles triangle. And then a scaling, all sides and angles. Are different. Okay, so an equil equilateral triangle, you'll always know it because it's got the word equal in it, has sides of length six centimeters. So six, six, and six. So what am I, what, what's right on the size of the angle? So angles in a triangle add up to, so these are some of the properties I was talking about in question six, add up to 180 degrees. If all the angles are equal, then if I divide that by three, can you see that all the angles are going to be 60 degrees? Okay, so it doesn't matter which one I put down as X, Y, Z. That one there is going to be 60 degrees, okay? Work out the length of the perimeter, okay? So perimeter, is the lengths of the outsides. If you were to walk all the way around that, so it's six plus six plus six equal to 18 centimeters. Make sure you have your units in every case. You'll see at the start of any exam paper, it tells you that marks may be lost if the units are not included. Okay, Maria plays a game using the triangle X, Z, Y. She flips a coin and moves the counter in the direction X, Y, Z. Okay, they're trying to confuse us now by uh, changing the letters. It's definitely working for me. So X, Y, Z, okay, so the arrows are here. Okay, as shown in the diagram below using the following rule. So she flips the coin. If she gets head, she moves the counter six centimeters. So one letter. If she gets tails, she moves the counter 12 centimeters. So like two moves. At the start of the game, the counter is at X. Okay, so my counter is up here at X. Okay, Maria gets tails on each of the first four flips of the coin. Okay, so she flips four times. She gets a tail, she gets a tail, she gets a tail, she gets a tail. What point in the counter, which point is the counter at after the four flips? So I start at X. Okay, so after the first flip, I get YZ, so I'm at Z, okay, so I, then I move, am I right, so this is tails, yeah, so tails moves 12, yeah, so then I go Z and I go XY, I'm now at Y, so I go ZX, so I'm back to X again, and then I go YZ. So counter, that's it. Jody makes a solid shape using equilateral triangles as faces. It has E edges and F faces where E and F are an element of N. In other words, they're whole numbers. For Jody's shape, EF over five minus E is equal to two. Three F is equal to two E. Solve these simultaneous equations to find the value of E and the value of F. Okay, so difficult question in a way because you have area and volume here with A and B. 
You then have some flipping of tails, which is normally, or flipping of heads, which is normally kind of probability there. And now you have a little bit of algebra in that you have simultaneous equations. So the question really does mix a load of the chapters together. So simultaneous equations, okay? So remember these, I'm just making up one here. 2x minus 3y is equal to 10. You put a line under them, you cancel one of the letters. So they're the normal simultaneous equations we're used to. Okay, so what are these bad boys that's in this question then? Okay, so I need to make these look like that. Okay, so I have 8f, let me rub him out. So 8f over 5 minus e equals 2. And then I have 3f is equal to 2e. Okay, anyone want to pop into chat there and, and give me a suggestion of, of what I could do to make either of them a little bit easier? Anyone want to type something into chat? Okay, so this could come over this side so that I had the F's here, and then the E's, and they were both on the left-hand side of the equals to sign. Cool, okay. I could multiply across by five with this one. That's true, to get rid of the fraction on the bottom. Okay, let's do those two things. Okay, so we're not even solving them at this stage. We're just rewriting them to make them look a bit easier. Okay, so we're multiplying the top one by five, okay? So multiply each of the parts by five, okay? You have to do it all the way across. So 8f over five by five, the five and the five will cancel. So you'll end up with 8f, and then five by e is 5e equals five twos are 10, okay? So that looks, a tiny bit better than the fraction one, okay? So you can see it's exactly five times bigger than this one here, okay? And then move the 2e over and it will become minus 2e. Of course, we've no number, so it'll be equal to zero. Okay, so that's looking a whole lot better um, and a whole lot closer to the simultaneous equations that, that we know and well, that we know and love, okay? Simultaneous equations, you can cancel either letters, the F's or the E's, okay? Um, 8, 16, 24, so I could bring the F's up to 24, or I could bring the E's up to 10, okay? And for some reason, I saw the E's first, the 10, so I need to multiply the top one by two and the bottom one by five to bring them up to 10. That's two eights, 16 F, um, two by minus, 5e is minus 10e, uh, two tens are 20. Okay, let's much multiply the bottom one by five. So five by three f is 15f, f five by minus two e is minus 10e. So they're the same now, so, so I know I've done a right job. And then five zeros, well, if I have nothing and I have five times it, I still have nothing, okay? Uh, can I cancel directly now? No because you need to cancel them to zero. So you need a minus 10 and a plus 10, for example, because minus 10 plus 10 gives you zero, okay? So I have two minuses, so I need to change the sign of one of them, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you change the sign of the top one or the bottom one. So I'm gonna change the bottom one. So 15F is a plus, so change the sign to a minus. The minus 10E, I'm gonna change it to a plus 10E and zero is a plus, change it to a minus, not that it makes any difference. So you can see you have to change the signs all the way across, just like here, I have to multiply by two all the way across. So what I do to one piece of an equation, I have to do to it all, they are the rules of maths. It's the same here, everything got multiplied by five. So you can do anything you want to an equation, as long as you do it to every piece of the equation. Okay, so then, We'll solve this just like an old fashioned sum. So 16F minus 15F gives me just one F. Um, minus 10E plus 10E cancels, which is exactly what we wanted. 
and 20 minus zero is 20. So I am getting F being equal to 20. Okay, so then we sub in to find E. Okay, and you sub into either of these two equations, okay? It should work for both of them. And it doesn't matter which one you sub into, you sub into whichever one you think looks the easiest, okay? So I'm going to take the second one, which is 3F equals 2E. I now know that F is 20. So let's fill that piece of information in. 320s are 60 is equal to 2E. Divide across by the number in front of our letter. And so we get E is equal to 30. Okay, now it didn't ask us to check, but some parts, some questions will tell you to verify your answers. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it here just to check, okay. So what I do is I half the page and now you have to show that it works for both equations. So 8F over five minus E should be equal to two and 3F should be equal to 2E. Okay, so there's our two equations. So eight times, let's sub in our F was 20 over five minus uh, my E, which is 30. And is that equal to two? And then in this one, I have three times F, which is 20. Is that equal to two times 30? Okay, so in this one, I have three 20s is 60, equal to two 30s is 60. So it definitely works for that one. Let's check the next one. I'm just grabbing my calculator there, hit the fraction button. So I have eight times 20, close my bracket, over five is 32 minus 30, and it is indeed equal to two. Okay, so that little correct that I have there is not me correcting my own work, it's actually mass language for verified or shown that it is to be true. Okay, so do put in the little correct. So that's that question done.